Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem ten in chapter twenty nine. Chapter twenty nine is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So first one, we need to find the induced EMF, right? Now let's see what the quantity is given. First one, the uh, diameter is given, so we can calculate the radius there, and then the change of magnetic field is given. Agree. So we use the final magnetic field as a minus initial magnetic field there. And time taking is given, right? And then how many turns of this loop? One turn, it tell you a circular wire loop, right? Now, in this, with these quantities, can you find induced EMF? Yes, so simple. Just a straightforward um, to calculate the Faraday's law. Faraday's law tell us in this equation, right? And then we can say we can use the delta phi over delta t um, to calculate this induced EMF. And this delta phi is the A times delta B because this is a perpendicular, the angle perpendicular. So now you can say you input A as a pi r squared in this function. So input all the quantities, you get answer there. Now, next question, in what direction does the induced current flow? So this one is the application about Lenz law. So we can see there, um, at initially, the magnetic field is positive, right? This positive means it is points away from the observer. So for us, when it points away, that means it flows in, agree? Yes. And then we can see this magnetic field is decrease, 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 and in opposite direction. That means if we it when it decrease, when we want to compensate it, we will have the mag the induced current will produce a magnetic field that still flows in, right? It's pointing inward. So now we use the right hand rule, the sum pointing inward. And then we can say rotate your four fingers, your four finger will rotate in the clockwise direction. Thank you.